this is H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Last time, we died! I guess we're in heaven now. That background kind of looks like Terranigma. Except less, uh, trippy. I forget the, uh, sprite or whatever graphics layer this is called. Mode 7? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's quite Mode 7, but, ah, whatever. Mode 7 is where you're kind of looking at it like a 2.5 dimensional object or something. Or they have it on an angle, like the world map of Final Fantasy VI. But, whatever. It's like the Mountain of Souls. Oh, uh, yeah. Not quite as creepy looking, though, but take what you can get. So, what's going on? Ah, there's a nice little sword. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so, you sent four fairies to save the world. The goddess of the entire world, all of mana. Four little fairies, that's all you get. Well, if you have strength left to give, then why can't you just keep going? Don't worry, fairy. I'll help you, fairy. Yeah, fairy. <laughs> Trying to think of a Muppets reference. I wonder how they tell each other apart. And they're all named fairy. Yeah, that, that would be a problem. Oh, well. So, why is the fairy doing all this? Just something to kill time, I guess? Ah, we're, we're still alive. I guess we just got captured or something. I feel wet. <laughs> well, let's see if we can use the same tactic we did with Hawk there. Are we supposed to use the same tactic as Final Fantasy V and break into the other jail cell? Just talk to the wall that worked in Final Fantasy V. <laughs> Nuts. W weren't you just sleeping at the end? Sounds like a plan. How are you going to pull that one off? Maybe that wasn't the right expression for me to use. Hmm. Well, that's rather straightforward. What do you mean, change your clothes? You're in jail! You don't have a, a pair, set of clothes to change into. Prison uniform. Ah, uh, 16-bit porn. Dumbass. What is she doing there? What is that? Telling I don't... Him, huh? Telling him to kiss her ass? I guess. Well, let's get out of here. Sounds like a plan. Yay! More party members! So if Carly was not your third party member, this is where you get her. Or him, depending. It. Yeah. Nah, nah, we don't need to save. Ha ha. Okay, let's get out of here. Now Angela and Carly are the only two party members who can actually learn magic before level 18, let's just put it that way. So, it, it, I mean, I'm still going to be using magic, but, well, you'll see. Come on. Wait, so they put us in jail with our weapons? Well, standard fare for JRPG. They don't even do that in Zelda. Hmm. Well, yeah, we still have our weapons, or we just got them back really fast, so. But, anyway... So we have, it's not, learning magic is not like uh, Secret of Mana, where you get the spirit and you automatically have the magic. What you have to do is, once you have the spirit, then you have to gain a level, and if you have the appropriate stats, then you'll learn the spell. Did we just silence one of the wolves? Huh. Must have been like one of the little clouds that 
came out of it when it died. No, I'm pretty sure it was a silence effect. Hmm. Maybe it was a glitch or something. Or maybe it just looked a lot like it. I'm pretty damn sure it was silence. Now, silence is too good for this part of the game, but uh, we'll, we'll get there soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Silence is obscenely good in this game. Especially compared to the last game. Huh. Trying to think of something. Oh yeah, um, most of Angela's spells are learned from gaining intelligence, but you have to have the right elemental spirit, so... I'll go over her stat gains for her well, soon enough. Let's see, for those who watched the first LP, uh, when Hawk learned his spells, a lot of them were based on agility. So, different spells have different stat requirements, and unfortunately, this game is not very newbie-friendly, shall we say. I thought there might have been enemies over there. So. so, yeah, they don't exactly tell you, like, oh, well, you got this spirit, so now you need to get such and such amount of stats in order to learn another spell. No, they don't tell you, so... That's why I'm here for you, viewers. Replay value. Oh, yeah, this game has tons of replay value. I've never played a game this much in the last 10 years. Maybe Final Fantasy IV, but other than that... That's because this is a relatively quick game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, when you know what you're doing, you can go through things pretty fast. Come on! Yes, there we go. Oh, I wanted to heckle you. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I was going to try and leave that way, but no, that would be a bad idea. Let's, uh, get out of here. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. You would think... Er, no, I was about to say something stupid about anchors, but, uh, no, I'll keep my mouth shut this time. I think they'd have guards on the dock. That, too. But, any, if uh, Carly was your third party member, yeah, yeah, if your Carly was your third party member, someone else would have been in that other jail cell, and they would have helped you get out. And you would have left them behind on your ship, too. <laughs> you would have, you would have, they would have been like, eh, hey, what's going on? I like Angela's animation. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Ott from my main LP. She likes to jump up and down like that, except she's a lot cuter. Ah. But she has really hairy legs. So, okay. <laughs> My brother has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, of course, this is a JRPG. Oh good, you're controlling the dialogue. Well, then how are you the magic user of our party? Well, she is. She is the magic user in the game of the six characters. Oh, no. We'll go through her intro in more detail when we uh, do the next LP. Here we get the uh, Reader's Digest version. It's dangerous to go alone. Especially on her intro. Hmm. But, like I said, we'll get to that sooner now. I think I did her intro once. That's about it. I don't remember it too well. Hmm. Elrand. Huh, that reminds me of another game. Wasn't that the name of, uh... The sequel to the Seventh Saga in Japan? Or was that the name of the Seventh Saga in Japan? I forget. Mm. Yeah, I think that was the Japanese name for the Seventh Saga in Japan. And then for some godforsaken reason, they made it obscenely harder for us Americans. Huh. You ever play that game? Nope. Uh, you, you want torture. You think Dragon Warrior 2 is hard, viewers? <laughs> I just remember the mimic traps eating you. Oh, God. Those were like... I, I learned to fear mimics after playing that game. 
Even Dragon Warrior 3 was not that hard with the mimics. Ah, uh, I love this music. Now let's take a look around. Ready? And just so you know, viewers, uh, while we're here, I'm going to do this off screen, but I would recommend buying up to nine candies, if, or whatever they're called, round drops at this point. I'm so used to Secret Armada. Yeah, buy up to nine of them while you're here, since we don't have Carly. And they also sell headgear here, finally, so we can buy that, too. Awesome. So we definitely want to get that upgrade. Bazell, huh? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So we gotta follow the yellow brick road. You wanna sing the song with me next time? No. <laughs> you don't sing, huh? Yep. Oh, good! Nuts. If you had Carly in your party, you'd get a little extra dialogue there, but, uh, well, we don't. So, oh well. Come on, you already talked to that guy three times. I, they, they all look the same. That's racist. <laughs> They're human! Anyway. What's he then? I don't know what he is. Okay, I know how to say Bon Voyage, but I can't pronounce her name. Bonsoir? I think that's the French pronunciation of her name. Come on, you got a French name. You should know French. Come on. Doesn't our aunt know French, like, fluently? I oh. I thought she did. Ah, oh, cannon travel. So, yeah, this is before Secret Amana, when they actually had cannon travel. They're just inventing it. I think this is like a thousand years before Secret Armada. Something like that, so. Well, okay, so, yeah, here's the weapon shop, the item shop, here's the armor shop. We're gonna buy all that stuff off screen, and then we'll take the yellow brick road to Forsena. Next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day!